Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be very exciting for me personally. If you've been here before, you've been hearing me talk about these kitchen cabinets that I'm grateful for, but I cannot do the color anymore. It's just like builder grade brown cabinets and I really want to paint these white to just open everything up and give them a really nice refreshed look so today's gonna to be the day I finally got my paint stuff in I finally talked to Ruben into this being the best idea I've ever had so he's actually on a fishing trip this weekend and I thought it was gonna be the perfect opportunity for me to do it so it'll be all nice when he gets back and I can say I told you so so that's what we're gonna be doing but real quick I'm just gonna turn you around and show you what I'm gonna be using decided to go with the rust-oleum cabinet transformations and it comes with this kit you can get like a big kit or a little kit and I really wasn't sure what I had gotten until I got here so I'm praying that this is enough I've read online that they have or you know people have gotten the regular size and their kit was more than enough for their cabinets and literally I have like six cabinets if that so Fingers crossed this goes well, but it comes with the deglosser and these little pads. That way you can just run everything over and get all of the finish or shine or anything like that off. So this will be first. And then there's two cans of the bond coat. And then next is gonna be the decorative glaze, which I'm not gonna do. Um, I just want them like a flat white. And I think that's what this is for is to help with the glaze. But like I said, I'm not gonna use that. And then it's got the last coat, which is the protective top coat. And it does come with some paint sticks. And then I just picked up this little kit. It's got the smooth to semi-smooth surfaces, just a little roller. And I've got some really good paint brushes downstairs. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I've like watched a ton of videos and reviews and everything on that um, kit. And it should be simple. Everybody has had rave reviews about it. So fingers crossed, I don't mess anything up. I really don't think you can mess anything up. But these cabinets genuinely need this. And like I said, I'm so excited to get it done. You have no idea. But I'm gonna show you just a little bit of what these cabinets look like. You can see back here, it's just like the builder grade. But we've got places on them. I mean, these are original. And this house is a little bit over 20 years old, I think. So it's just wear and tear. And it's definitely time for them to be done but let me just show you and I'm sorry my dishwasher is on so if you hear that I apologize this is not going to be like a very um this is like a you know a very personal relaxing video so bear with me okay but let me show you what these cabinets look like down here so this is like right below the sink and you can see here where like the varnish and everything has come off I guess like where the water comes down I guess but all of this has been coming off for a while so that's going to be taken care of and here too and then on the sides of the drawers and I was thinking about when I take these off these knobs are actually really nice and there's nothing wrong with them I was just going to clean them but I was thinking about painting them like a matte black I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do but that's what all of these look like. And like I said, obviously they need to be redone. So this has been a long time in the waiting. But before we get too far into this, I want you to go ahead and leave me a comment now and let me know if you think that I ended up painting the knobs or leaving them like they are. So just put a comment, um, old or new. That's what we'll do. New if you think I've painted them or old if you think I just left them silver. Just put old or new in the comments. I wanna see how many of you guys are right. Cause honestly at this point, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do either, but it's time to get all of these taken down. And that's what we're gonna do. I think what I'm gonna do is get the doors off and then label them like one, two, three, four, obviously. Like do a piece of tape on the door with a one and then inside that cabinet put a one and then I'm gonna get a plastic baggie and put a one on that. And all the hardware that came off of that door, I'm gonna put in that plastic baggie that way. I can put everything back the way it was. <sighs> and hopefully not drive myself insane. This, I'm like, I'm terrified. I know I can paint and I know it's gonna look amazing. I don't know, it's just, it's blowing my mind. But you know, I can't get anything done around here without one last thing. So, Alexa, play 80s hip hop. The station, 80s hip hop. 
I'm wondering how many men that you trapped end up in the ocean I wish that I could understand why I had this stupid crush The girl next door is over there being perfect getting the roses I bet that you don't even care if my body drifts ashore But if you ask me, I'm pretty sure that I'll come running Though I should say, no, 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 no Here in the ocean, nobody can hear you screaming And if I knew better, I would never need the rush And if I just think twice, I never would have had this feeling I should have said, no, 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 no I've never choose to let this slip, but I'm here somewhere in the ocean Around your fingertip, just like beating round the bush. I'm half the man I used to be after being dumped in the ocean. I bet that you don't even care if my body drifts ashore. Sure that I'll come running. Running, running, running Though I should say No, 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 no No, 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 no Here in the ocean Nobody can hear you screaming And if I knew better I would never need the rush And if I just think twice I never would have had this feeling I should have said No, 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 no No, no, no So this is how far I've gotten. I have done the deglosser all over all of the cabinets. Don't judge my mess, but I've gotten all the deglosser on there, everything down here. I've got my drawers out and they have been deglossed. And I've got all of my cabinet doors here in the floor. And I just took off their little um, numbers and then just stuck them right above them. So I still know which is which but we've got all of these cleaned off and they are being deglazed and then it will be time to start painting wish i could say i was finally over you that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by Someone save me For I pass out I'm too lonely To be done I'm a drink at this page
So this is one coat on the cabinets. This is just the bonding primer. So you can see that I'm obviously going to need probably three or more coats, but I have done two coats to the drawers and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is two coats of the front side of the drawers and those look pretty good. Mm -hmm. So obviously I know I'm gonna need probably three or four coats, but we are chugging along. So while I was letting the last coat of paint dry, I ran to Lowe's and got some of the bumpers for the cabinet doors. And then I ran over and took a look at the lighting because I wanted to replace the one that was over top of the sink. And I did find one and you'll see it. But then I got distracted by all the cute little dogs in there. But after I got finished at Lowe's, I did go ahead and go home and get everything cleaned up. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm short. So... I did end up having to stand on the counter and stand inside the sink to reach some of these spots. So also I wanted to clean up all of the dirt and dust and debris that came down from taking all of the cabinet doors off. I think it was just from where I was taking all of the screws out and then just little particles of that wood and dust was all over the countertop. So I wanted to make sure that all of that was cleaned up. And then I went around and checked all of the spots that I hadn't gotten wiped when I was painting and kind of scratched all of that paint off of anything that I had left it on. I was actually really good and I didn't get it all over too many spots. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. But I went ahead and just went around and got all of that cleaned up. I got everything out of the sink. I made sure all of that was sanitized because like I said, I was standing on top of it. But I was actually really surprised. I thought that I would have ended up needing more of the paint, but those two little cans really did the job. I only used one can and had to open up the other for just the last part of the cabinets. And I ended up doing three coats of paint all over everything. But you guys, look at how amazing it looks. This is what it looks like when you walk into the kitchen now. It is so open and airy and just beautiful. It's like a blank slate. I can do anything in here now. But if you guessed at the beginning of the video about the knobs, I actually ended up buying new ones. So if you guessed anything, you guys are wrong. I'm so sorry, but this is what they look like. I just remembered when I did my bathroom makeover, it's the same knobs in there and they didn't really take the spray paint too well. But when I was at Lowe's, I actually saw this really pretty light and I'm in love with it. I went ahead and got it. It was only $23 and it's this really beautiful little cage light and it fits perfectly above the sink. This is what it looks like with the light on and this is what it looks like with the light off and I am obsessed with this thing and I did paint both sides of the cabinet doors like I said but I did not paint on the inside that would have driven me absolutely insane and nobody sees that unless they're getting in the cabinets and if you're getting in my cabinets then you are personal to me and I don't care if you know that I didn't paint the inside but I'm so in love with how this looks you guys it's like a whole brand new kitchen the finish of this paint is beautiful and I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm in love. So let me know what you guys think, how it turned out. I will leave all the information to the paint kit in the description box below. And you know, this looks pretty plain in here. It needs some color. So my next video is going to be my fall decorate with me. And this kitchen is going to look amazing. So you're not going to want to miss it. Make sure you're subscribed. But I want to say thank you so much for coming by today and checking out my kitchen makeover. And as always, I love you and I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. We both wanted